Good morning. Today, we go to Walmart. For art supplies. I went at the beginning of quarantine and there was like nothing there, obviously. So I'm excited. We're gonna go to Walmart. Also the supplies at Walmart I might be using for another video, which is exciting. By the way, hello, good morning. If you're new to my channel, I'm Kai. I have a group interview and then a one-on-one -on -one interview for a job that is remote, which is really nice. I'm hoping that that works out. I don't know what else, but I definitely wanted to film at least this Walmart shopping haul. So let's do this. We're gonna go find it. All right, y'all. So we made it here, and let me just show you what's happening. Have different finishes too, so the matte finish, the gloss finish, chalk acrylic paint, the gloss finish here. It tells you the type of finish. I need to get a part though. I'm gonna see if they have any paint markers. No, <laughs> they don't have any Sharpies. If you guys want like really good sketch pads, Walmart is the place to go. I just want Sharpies, but you know, it's fine. No paint pens whatsoever. This is the most delicious aisle I've ever seen. Oh my God, oh my God. I forgot about Walmart. Man, people were really out there selling. That guy had a whole truck of cherries. We're going back to the house now because I don't want to be late for the call. So we came back. Basically, I had an interview that I was supposed to do at 1.35. Got back at around like literally like 10 minutes before. So I made some tea. I got like my cereal, whatever. Turns out that I had the wrong Zoom number. And the email that I thought was the email for that was a Zoom confirmation for my school, not for the job. I didn't get in the meeting. I literally was like staring at the screen and like trying to get it. Turns out wasn't even in the right meeting. And I couldn't like ask anyone because I don't know anybody. I couldn't ask like the person who's interviewing me because they're running the meeting. So they couldn't let me in or answer my call or my messages. Mind you, this is the second time that this has happened. I went to go get my computer. That was my first interview. I was like, I don't see any emails. I don't see anything. They texted back and was like, okay, well, we'll reschedule you for basically today at 1.25. But I was home ready for this meeting, but it didn't work out. And I'm hoping that they give me another chance but this would have been basically my third chance. This will be my first, third chance if they even let me. So we're gonna go to a different Walmart now. I'm hoping because I hate having to go to a bunch of stores for like one thing that you're looking for. I'll see you guys soon. Okay, so we just got to the shopping center and I saw that there's a Dollar Tree over there. I'm definitely gonna go in the Dollar Tree to see if there's anything that I'll be pleasantly surprised to find. As you can see, Michael's is completely boarded up. 
So we are going to the Dollar Tree. I'm just curious. I think it's red though. It's weird that they only have a red one. One more Walmart run. Yeah, Justin. I honestly have to say I like his old music better. I don't really listen to his new music, but his music when he was like 16, yep. I'm not gonna lie, I still listen to those. We're not at Walmart anymore, is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, thank goodness. We just pulled up at Jamba Juice. They're allegedly open. Grab a little smoothie because they're so good. Yes. Another yes. 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 I'll be with you guys in one Oh, what did I get? Thanks for asking. I got pomegranate paradise with kale. So we're done now. Two Walmarts, one Dollar Tree, one Jamba Juice, and we out. We have the receipt so I can tell you how much everything cost. See you soon. Bye. There's like a really fun Dollar Studio in Paris that I would kind of go. That's why I didn't really do that much is because I was like really excited. Like I wanted to like like dance a lot and Hi. yo what's up guys sorry about the lighting the sun is kind of going down there's nothing really i can do about it the supplies that i'm gonna show you i got from walmart and the dollar store i have my sketch pad here we can kind of compare the products at the dollar store and the products at walmart and mind you the products at walmart you can also find at like michael's and blick and stuff like that so you can kind of equate it to that i don't know i'm just gonna grab my bag and let's do this like just know that all the products that I got are significantly under $20. I think the most expensive thing was probably $9.74. So everything that I'm gonna show you is under $10, super affordable that you can find at Walmart. And if you can find it, if you can find it at Walmart, you can find it in like Michael's, Blick, whatever art store you have. Like these art supplies are not like super crazy. It's just if you're also starting to do more art and make more art on your free time these are some products that you should definitely get cool sorry i had to move a little bit okay one of the main things that i wanted to get were mini acrylic paints these are actually the three types that walmart usually has the one on your right i don't know this one's like four dollars or so this one's 99 cents and this one was two dollars like 197 190 something got a bunch of different colors these are some we got the pink yellow greens greens because i love aliens the metallic gold pink purple and this one make sure that you know what kind of finish you want a glossy finish is shiny a matte finish is not shiny so just make sure you keep that in mind when you go shop for your paint next thing i got were pink pens i really love these pens i haven't decided yet if they last long enough or like they last the amount that they probably should personally feel like they didn't last that long but i went back for some more because i really liked them i was thinking like is it me is it the pen and they're really nice too because sometimes you don't want to like full-on paint with like acrylics and paint brushes and water you can just use the uh, acrylic paint i got this black sketchbook which i think i'm really excited to use the pages are black the acrylic set i was really excited to find it because during the pandemic right now it's really hard to find just the colors you need it's more of like you go and find what you can not what you want so i was really happy to find this 24 acrylic paints i can't tell how much comes in either one but it doesn't matter because this was what 11 please get yourself some black sharpies i'm telling you you will use them for everything 
a red Sharpie, big Sharpie, blue Sharpie. And the last thing that I got from Walmart were oil pastels. The other ones that they had were more of like the traditional one, more rectangular, but this has like the plastic on it. As you can see, the other one at the store, it's basically clear. So people were trying to like steal them or break them or I don't know, but a lot of them only had like half a pastel. This was six dollars i think for 25 colors as opposed to the other oil pastel palette that was maybe 12 or less for about 11 dollars or so so it's just about preference how much you want to spend that's it for walmart now we're gonna move on to the dollar tree we're gonna compare sharpies to the permanent markers at the dollar store ballpoint pens because why not precision tip pens i also got not a sharpie but permanent markers what does that mean i don't know is it supposed to be held to the expectation of a sharpie i don't know but we'll find out mm. dollar markers on the back they say that they're permanent sharpie question mark these come with eight they were a dollar everything that i just said that came from the dollar tree was a dollar graphite pencils let's compare these let's just do it just gonna draw a cube Okay, smudge. Okay, cool. <laughs> I don't have a freaking pencil. All I'm gonna say is I'm not mad. What we are gonna compare though are these two. Dollar store permanent markers and then the classic shirt. <laughs> so there you have it, folks. Pencil, the Sharpie, and the dollar store sharpie i have to say that the dollar store brand felt actually easier to use than the sharpie it was very smooth and very thick i think this would work great for things that you need thick strokes for or graffiti if these have the same stroke as this one then i don't think i'm gonna be too mad this is the end of my art haul day in the life video i hope you liked it you should go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that like button and turn on that bell for more videos i hope you had a good day with me i hope They'll come back next time. But yeah, no lie, stay tuned for my uh, next video, which is gonna be very soon. Thank you for watching. I will see you soon and that's all. Bye.